So, 3D printing has become a huge subject of conversation within BMX, whether you know it or not. And today's unboxing is a very fun one, just taking a look at some of the potential of that in something very fun that somebody just offered to send to me. So this is from Kevin at Wooder Designs. He reached out, sent me a picture of something that you've seen in the thumbnail already, but I won't fully spoil, and said he wanted to send them to me. And then I feel like he kind of just like went a little bit crazy and made a whole bunch more stuff. So I want to show you guys that now. I love the wrapping paper filling in the box. Top down camera. All right, so check this out. We've got two different bags of bar ends here. And then what are these? All right, this is where things get cool and exciting. So first of all, let's take a look at, make a little mini ramp here. Let's take a look at these bar ends. These are the Wooder Designs bar ends. He sent these to just give out whatever. So basically, if I see you at a skate park and you don't have bar ends on your bike, you're getting a set of these and you're gonna have bar ends and you can't use color as an excuse because every color you could want is in here from you know the cyan to the red to the orange to the white. And the feel of these things is, it feels like a real bar end. Like, it feels like there's, it's not fully rigid. You may be able to see, man, that's going to be tough to see. But it's not fully rigid, so you can use it the same as any other bar end. And I would imagine that they hold up. So, super rad. Wooder designs all these bar ends here. Toss those out. What's your favorite color in this whole pile of bar ends in the floor of the mini ramp? What's going on? So, now, before we get to what was probably the most exciting for me, this is what came after he first sent me the uh, pictures of these bar ends, which I haven't shown you yet a quarter pipe bar end holder. And to top it off, it's got my name on it. There's room for three sets of bar ends in there. It says Brantmore on the top, Wooder Designs, and it is a freaking quarter pipe. This one looks like it would be really good for ice pick stalls. He sent me two of these, he's messing around with it, and it's just awesome. So let's get into showing what started all of this? Check this out. I'm gonna get all three colors and make sure that you can see them all. Look at this. There's crowns and they say Lip Lord on them. Black, green, and cyan, turquoise, aquamarine. Let me know which of the three it actually is. But how cool is that? And this was just out of the blue. I didn't ask him to do this. He just sent me a picture and was like, hey, I want to send these to you. And I'm like, hell yes, please. It looks awesome. Thank you. And so now that I'm making this video right now, what I'd like to propose is that if anybody would be interested in a set of Lip Lords bar ends, let me know in the comments down below and I may start selling these on my web store because they are so rad. And to be able to, you know, support Kevin and Water Designs, buy them from him, have him make them, and then sell them on my web store is just a really cool concept. And not trying to make, you know, a bunch of money or anything, but I think it'd be fun. And I don't know if this is just how it works or what, but the the sheen of the bar end and the smoothness on this side it i mean if you didn't know better like if somebody just handed you this i don't know if you'd think it was 3d printed it's very very well done i'm not sure what this means v191 co usa earth 
and they all say that. I'm not sure what that means. Let's just do this. Oh, something I just noticed. Because there's two sets of the blue color, there's purple ones in here to go on Victoria's bike, which this color matches like perfectly. It's crazy. Let's finish loading up this here bar end quarter pipe container. Sorry about the heater if that was annoying, but check that out. The bar end mini ramp. So I want to say thank you and give a shout out to Wooder Designs and you guys should check him out. They, he makes other stuff too and there's one thing that I really want to talk about but I'm not going to talk about yet because he doesn't have them available right now and if anybody wanted to buy one after this you wouldn't be able to and I don't want to you know do it at the wrong timing. Basically I want to talk about it at a time where it could actually help him out and they're available for the people who are watching the video. But check that out. How cool is that? So there's stent some Wooder Designs stickers in here. You can just see the thoughtfulness that goes into something like this and I just genuinely appreciate it. So thank you Kevin, Wooder Designs. Check him out, linked in the description down below to the Instagram page where you can follow all the stuff he's doing and the community around 3D printing and BMX is doing nothing but grow. He makes pedals as well. That's one thing I can talk about and will talk about. And he posted one recently that just looks, it looks like a final product. And I think it's really awesome to see. So check out his stuff. Let me know your guys' thoughts on 3D printing in the comments down below as well. And if you haven't yet, check out the video that I did with Zach Gerber talking about 3D printed pedals and going through the whole process of how those get made and then assembling them and all of that. It's just a really cool discussion that is going on in BMX right now and people are making and producing their own parts or replacement parts, i.e. pedals. And it's just something that I think is going to only become more and more prevalent so let me know your thoughts on that. Let's have a discussion and just talk about where this could go because I did a podcast last night live with Zach and he said that he thinks 3D printing is the future of just everything where everybody's going to have a 3D printer and they're going to be able to you know, design their own stuff or download whatever they might need and then if they, gotta, if they need something, they just download it, send it to the printer, make it and then they have it instead of having to go to the store and pay for the whole process of packaging and logistics of it getting there. In reality, you could just pay for the design itself, print it, and then you have it. And I think that's a, it's like a novel concept, but it's a concept that makes sense. And I think it could very well be a big part of the future. So that's a conversation I want to have. And uh, thank you once again to Kevin and Woodard Designs. I've said it a lot, but just the fact that this was unprovoked and he just did this for me, it's so rad. And I just genuinely appreciate that he did it. So thank you again. And if you guys enjoyed this, once again, check him out. Subscribe here if you haven't yet. Follow that Instagram. Check Zach Gerber's stuff out. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this enough. If you're new here and you haven't yet, you'll hit the subscribe button down below while you're leaving that comment. And we'll see you tomorrow for another video. Thanks again for watching. And goodbye.